you reconsider Miz's offer about meeting him in the ring after a match? I promise you won't regret it. It doesn't seem like I have much of a choice at this point. Tell Miz I'll see him out there. This is going to be something the WWE Universe will never forget. I'm sure. It's the Warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the Frit. Great action unfolding here on SmackDown as our WWE Universal Champion takes on Santos Escobar in a non-title encounter. The Dark Horse has been in the doghouse since his trip down to NXT. Maybe GM Miz will throw him a bone soon. Why should he? The champion abandoned Miz and SmackDown. If it were up to me, he'd be taking up permanent residence in that doghouse. Lift off. Ooh, right in the face. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, look at that. The Moose DDT. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Get to the outside. Looking for his next form of attack. Tope Suicida! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Whip back into the ring. He's got him scouted. Escobar finally creates some more offense for himself. Yeah, but Escobar needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Into a leg drop? The Emperor of Lucha Libre playing to his subjects. Oh, and a rear super kick! From behind, nasty. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Catches an uppercut. A town down. Oh, setting them up. Worried look on the face of Escobar. Yeah, Santos has run into a roadblock. Ooh. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this match is not over yet. It's only going to get harder from here. He moved, but can he capitalize? Oh, what a Spanish! He could pass. champion with another victory in his impressive reign. He's been on an absolute tear since he was stripped of the NXT championship. It certainly seems to have given him some up, extra up. motivation. Well, here's the source of that extra motivation, The Miz. I know you've been dying to have it out with me face to face since your little trip down to NXT. But I've been working on something that makes it so I don't ever need to talk to you again. Something that makes you irrelevant. And not just to me, but the entire WWE Universe. Because let's get one thing straight. I wasn't going to sit back and let you jump ship and steal my WWE Universal Championship again. No. I'm taking control of my brand's most important asset by creating a new one. So as we head down the road to WrestleMania, it's my pleasure to announce that SmackDown will send a champion to the Showcase of the Immortals, who we can be proud of. Not a universal champion 
forever in the shadow of Roman reigns. But instead, someone whose star shines brighter than the universe itself. So allow me to introduce the first ever multiversal infinite champion, Logan Paul. You've got to be kidding me. Can Miz really do this? He can until someone with a bigger paycheck stops him. Finally, we have the must-see champion I've always wanted. Stop right there. You better not come any closer, because if you lay a hand on my real champion, you will face severe consequences. Besides, I don't need my new champion fighting someone who's meaningless. Now let's go to break with no shots of the irrelevant champion. I still can't believe Miz did this. The road to WrestleMania just took a very unexpected detour. Where's Miz? We need to talk about his latest stunt. Sorry. Miz is at a press junket with his new multiversal infinite champion. So many outlets want to talk to Logan. <laughs> Did you know he has over 80 million followers across his various social media platforms? How many do you have? Don't know, but I have a lot more wrestling wins than Logan Paul. He's a part-timer who shows up even less than Roman did. And more importantly, I actually won my championship instead of it being made up and handed to me by The Miz. Cool. All championships were made up at some point. But anyway, enough talk. You better go get ready. Now that you're mostly irrelevant, you've been relegated to the opening match slot. Seriously? We go live in 30, so be at Gorilla a few minutes before that. We're going to start the show with you already in the ring. No need to see your entrance for the millionth time. Have fun out there. We know Miz has big plans for his newly crowned champion, Logan Paul, but it is strange to see the WWE Universal Champion opening the show with no fanfare or anything. He didn't even get an entrance. Miz's plan to relegate the Dark Horse to the undercard is in full effect. It's sabotaged. All the attention is going to the made-up, multiversal, infinite champion and not our real champion. This is malarkey. Wow, Saxton, no need for the foul language. Reversal. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. What a punch! Pow! What a shot! That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, taking it right to him. No. Uh oh. Oh, just completely off target there. A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. <laughs> Bruising attack to the stomach. Gets him with the counter. Oh, the old taste of pain. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. Into the ring again. Oh! 
Here we go. The WWE Universal Champion is going to put Logan Paul in his place. You're as gullible as the dark horse, Saxton. Paul's not here, but that doesn't stop him from messing with the champ. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Vicious right forward. He turns it around on Corbin. Dragon twist cutter. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Delivering nails. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Crushing knee strike. He's on his heels a bit now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think of... Uh-oh. Incredible. Holy cow, a taste of his own medicine. Near fall. This man can withstand anything. Just survived a page torn from his own playbook. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Unbelievable. And Corbin can't find a way off the blocks. Heavy work being done to Corbin right now. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Down to Bowman and a double axe handle smash. Oh my God. Corbin is feeding off the WWE Universe. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The opponent's head like a basketball. <laughs> Oof, a shot like that would counter any attack. <laughs> With the counter. Has them hooked. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here's your winner. The bad guy. E.M.G. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. Corbett is no stranger to failure, but he can't feel good about this result. Hey, I just want to say, I know how it feels to make it to the top as the Universal Champion, and then suddenly have the rug pulled out from under you. Yeah. It's less than ideal. At least you're still champ, though. I got hurt and had to give up the Universal title after only 24 hours. Then, never got a chance to get it back when I returned. That actually gives me an idea. Especially with Miz out of the picture tonight. What are you thinking? If Miz wants to relegate me to the opening match, maybe we go out there and show him we are main event players. So we basically hijack the main event slot tonight? Yep. I get to prove my value around here. And you get the Universal Championship match you never got. Win-win. I love it. I'm in. We are WWE Universal Champion competes twice in one night, but apparently with GM Miz and Logan Paul off at a press event, he and Finn Balor took it upon themselves to schedule this match. Good for our real champion for taking advantage of the opportunity. This kind of blatant insubordination is what got him into this situation in the first place. There's bound to be consequences. Perched up top. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Ouch. Oh, ouch. And the second row. Enziguri out of the corner. Oh. 
Swiss cutter. What a right hand and then a wow, somersault on Prettier. The challenger's looking shaken. Kick right to the midsection. There it is, the sling blade. Oh, close line. He heads outside, count out's legal in this match. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, good night. Sorry. To pain. From the ropes. Boom! Into the cutter. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Swanton. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, Cole. The WWE Universal Champion is setting up Finn Balor for something big here. Wait a second. It's Logan Paul. Paul nails him with the clothesline. Apparently, Miz and Logan Paul are here tonight after all. They probably didn't appreciate SmackDown being taken over in their absence. But what's our champion going to do about it? Miz said there'd be severe consequences if he put his hands on Paul. Close line on Logan Paul. And Finn nails Miz. The WWE Universal Champion will have a price to pay for attacking the Multiversal Infinite Champion. Who knows what Miz has in store for him after threatening severe consequences. Things are heating up between our dueling SmackDown champions. So you're shipping me off to an indie show at a high school gym? You say that like it's a bad thing. You should be excited since you love competing away from SmackDown so much. This is a bit different than going after the NXT title. If you say so. Oh, and by the way, we really want to make sure you get your conditioning in while you're there. So they're going to have you compete in a two out of three falls no DQ match. Have fun.
I can't believe Miz has basically removed you and the WWE Universal Championship from WrestleMania. I can. Have you not been paying attention to anything he's done in the last 20 years? Fair point. Well, I'm glad you're back from your suspension. <sighs> Honestly, BCW wasn't the best working conditions, but at least I didn't have to deal with the Miz. How are you going to fix this, though? You can't just give up and let Miz have his way. No, I'll never give up. And I've been thinking about it. When it comes to Miz and Logan Paul, you gotta hit him where it hurts the most. Their egos. Well, Miz won't shut up about his big announcement on SmackDown of Logan Paul's opponent for WrestleMania. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna need your suit size. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. SmackDown's GM, The Miz, is here to announce Logan Paul's WrestleMania opponent. That's not Miz. And that's not Logan Paul. This is a circus. I'm losing respect for these two on so many levels. Sure, our WWE Universal Champion has had a tough stretch lately with The Miz, but much of that's been his own doing. And now to come out here and make a joke of our broadcast? I'm not on board with this. Are you done, Corey? What else is he supposed to do? The real champion has pretty much been banned from appearing on SmackDown by The Miz. I agree, Michael. Might as well have some fun with it. It's not funny, and it's not fun. Are you kidding me? Let's hear what The Miz and Logan Paul have to say. I'm sure it's going to be great. As your must-see GM of SmackDown, we are here to announce the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless, planetary champion's opponent at WrestleMania. And it's gonna be awful. That's right, Miz. And let's get to it. Because as your part-time champion, full-time piece of trash, everyone knows I can't stand being in a WWE ring any longer than I have to. So at WrestleMania, I'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the only thing that's bigger than my ego, my extreme lack of talent. Finally, the real Miz is here to put an Get end to this. Now, go. I was enjoying it, Corey. You would, Saxton. Miz's security team is going to have to forcefully remove the champion and Finn Balor, or at least try to. This would be good. The aptly named Tornado Tag Team match now underway. Yeah, but this is a tag team match, much like Saxton is a commentator. In name only, every man is legal at once, and the action never stops. This is a brawl, Cole, not a match. Uh, that was uncalled for. And it can be all over for Adrian. That could end Brute Force's night. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a play. No! Ooh no sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. It's ridiculous, the WWE Universal Champion, our real champion, has to win this tag match just to earn the right to compete at WrestleMania? There was a time that dinosaurs ruled the Earth, Saxton. Then humans showed up and the dinosaurs disappeared. In this case, the Dark Horse is the dinosaur. His time is up. Geological analogies aside, the fate of one of the main events of WrestleMania is at stake here. This is a huge match. The Miz letting him know who the real star attraction is here. Getting him into the corner. 
A series of punches and chops oh. in the corner. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. One, two. Oh, what a right hand and then wow, somersault on prettier. Carefully measured knee strikes. Still at them again. Yikes. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Bicycle knee to the face. And the Miz might want to look for some of his shortcut tactics after falling to that attack. As then hooked. Rolling cutter. Oh, man. The Miz is bleeding now. Crucial moment for Miz. Finn Balor. For over a year and a half, The Miz has made it his mission to dethrone the undisputed Universal Champion. Tonight, Dark Horse got revenge by cementing his spot at WrestleMania. This is just a small bump in the road to WrestleMania. Miz and Logan Paul will be just... <laughs>